Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson from MarketingEasyStreet.com and this is video number three in an in-depth case study and really search engine optimization guide with a spin on social media and how to market your website. That's what we're really talking about. This is video number three and we're going to go specifically into how to market the site and I'm going to explain specifically what I did when I launched the site and what I still do today to build a following and not to have to worry about links but I'm still crushing it in Google because of the marketing efforts I've got underway. Now if you've missed any of the other uh, videos or you want to get uh, the entire case study tutorial simply click on the link in the video that says click here to access the tutorial and I'll take you to this site right here and we'll be underway. The first video we opened up with was Matt Cutts and he was talking about, you know, don't think so much just link building. So many people are focusing on link building and when you do that it restricts what you focus on. And that's not what we're really after in the end, is it? Do you care about links? Don't you care more about how much traffic you're driving and how much that traffic is able to build your business. So instead, think about marketing your website. And when I launched this site, that's exactly what I thought about. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, if you're going to market your website, you want to go where there's just a whole heap of people. You want to make sure you're going to have an easy and effective way to reach people again and again. And it would be awesome if you didn't have to pay for it. And with that, my very first choice when it came to social sites was Facebook, okay? You know, people say, well, what about Twitter or this or that? Well, here's what I was thinking at the time, and I think it still holds true today. Facebook has the biggest user base of folks. Anyone can go there, you can create an account, and you can connect with other people. Now, as we move forward, I'm gonna talk about what I really think you should do, and it's what, what I do, and I think you're gonna have more impact when you do it. So I went to Facebook and literally I probably spent an average of 15 minutes a day, usually in the morning with coffee. I check in and say hi to people, make some connections, and don't go overboard, don't go crazy, you know, don't use all the fancy tools. Just get an account and start building uh, connections and network with people that are interested in the same thing you're interested in with. Uh, comment on their posts when they make you laugh. Comment on their posts when they make you think about something, when you think it's worthy. And share your own content. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. You don't have to spend a ton of time. Just a few minutes a day, three, four, five times a week can have a huge impact. And then what happens is, you know, let's say you post a blog post every other week or once a week, well, if you're posting, you know, 10 times uh, puppy pictures, uh, family pictures, if you're commenting on other people's stuff, and once in a while, you know, one out of 10, you have a, a, a link to your blog, what's going to happen is people are going to be engaging with you, and they're going to basically click on the link, and they're going to want to check it out. You know, at the time when I went to Facebook, I didn't have this crazy plan. I just wanted to connect. I knew that, you know what? In life, it's about connections. It's not always what you know, but who you know. So I said, it's time to get busy with social. And this is how I started, you know, really applying my marketing to Facebook. Social activity, have fun. It's not all promotions. Don't make it all about promotions and so on. YouTube, make a video. There's a lot of ways. Use your iPad, get iMovie, take pictures, just talk over the pictures. It's not hard investigate all the ways you can make videos and this is what I can tell you the higher quality the content the better you'll do doesn't mean you need a five thousand dollar camera I do a lot of videos on my iPhone I edit on my iPad I upload using YouTube or Vimeo and it works tremendous the videos look awesome and really they deliver value that's what you focus on and when you do that then you have a chance to be found again now in in Facebook and in YouTube and we have all these different uh, places where people can access our website right Facebook YouTube 
Uh, now I'm doing Google Plus and that's working out. And I have a mailing list too. So I talked about my mailing list in the beginning of this uh, in-depth tutorial. So the idea is you offer value, you create stuff based on the wants and needs of your visitors. You don't try to just sell them stuff right out of the go. You provide value and people will begin to trust you. If you can help them and provide solutions to them, they will want to hear from you. They will be happy to hear from you. And when you recommend something, especially think about this. If there's a product they're interested in, they're already thinking about it, and then they hear from you, and you've been the guy or the gal providing value, don't you think they'd be happy to buy with you and support your efforts because you've been adding value to their life? Absolutely. So that's what starts to happen is we get people from Facebook, we get people uh, from YouTube. Um, I'm starting to drive people from Google Plus, and I'm going to explain more about how I'm using Google Plus as we continue this tutorial, this in-depth case study. And you're going to start building a list over time, right? Now, when you build a list, people will join. And when you come out with a new blog post, you can mail your list. And what happens is then more people land on your site. And you don't have to think about link building, but if you're adding value, people are going to link to you anyway. And then that really makes your job a bit simpler. You're just focused on creating content that matters and moving forward. And when you do that, you're going to win. And again, you know, I've laid everything out. Up above, we talked about the niche and the WordPress, and you got the videos for that, and we're talking about social now. And I just want to show you, you know, just how much of an, an impact this can have. We talked about the Moz toolbar. I'm going to... Yep, so this is kind of interesting. This is actually a Google Plus listing. Did you ever realize that when you post to Google Plus, it shows up in the search engine? That's pretty darn interesting, and that actually passes page rank and does all kinds of things. We'll talk about that as we move forward, but um, I want to show you WordPress tutorial SEO optimization. So what happens when you build a website based on what I'm saying. Well, number one, you're going to be hanging out around a lot of great sites, right? You're going to be associating yourself with solid websites. And if you remember, we talked about the Moz analytics we can gain access to. Here we have page authority. Again, this has a page authority of 81. Incredibly powerful. Wow. Uh, a monster. The domain authority is 84. The higher the numbers, the harder it is to compete with that site. So your chance to outrank Yoast for WordPress SEO tutorial, a thin to none, right? And let's go down here and we see that the next listing is actually WordPress.org. Uh, I probably don't have a, a big opportunity to, to replace WordPress.org. And yet there's another result from WordPress.org and another result from WordPress. And you can see we've got tons of training videos and this is actually, this is, now this is what's interesting, right? Notice that about the fourth or fifth listing, we get a website that's using Google authorship, right? The page authority has dropped substantially from 92 to 57. The domain authority incredibly, incredibly strong. So very strong, but still all of a sudden there's some, a glimmer of hope, right? And then again, we see more similar results and then YouTube comes in. What I wanted to show you is basically on page two, my site, uh, uh, a page authority of one, okay, that, that's zero page authority. It's just, just nothing, no page authority. The domain authority is 28. So domain authority 86, domain authority 74, domain authority 74. The reason I'm here is because this post is really well optimized for this phrase. It's got a ton of information and people are heading there and going back. And I wanted to end this first part of the, the case study and the SEO and social marketing guide on this video to show you just how much of an impact this can have. So I hope you see that this stuff can really work. And, you know, I'm just going to call a spade a spade. There are plenty of products on the market that are a lot easier than what I've been talking about. And how well do those work? 
How many results are you getting with those? If they're not working, doesn't it make sense just to say, look, you know, I could be building a website like this over time, adding a post here or there, and it's going to grow and gain strength, and I'm going to create an asset. And that's what it's really about. In 2014 and moving forward, it's about value, helping people out, and so on. So I hope you found this first part of this tutorial series to be very helpful. And in the next uh, installment of this case study and social guide. I'm going to talk about specifically how I'm going to leverage Google Plus, what I see in Google Plus, and so on. Now, a lot of you folks that are on Google Plus, I told you I was going to start out and talk about that, and I haven't got to that yet, but I felt it was really important to back up and give you the foundation, and everything centers around your website, right? You want to have a site to build a list, to um, promote affiliate products, to make some money with AdSense. The, the website is the hub of your activities and everything that happens around it is directed towards the site. So that's why we're starting here. Thanks for paying attention. I really appreciate it uh, and I mean that. So thank you very much. I'm out. I'm going to go work on a book now, Busy Busy, and I'll see you guys real soon. Oh, wait a minute. Make sure you leave a comment below. Okay, leave a comment here. Let me know what you'd like to hear about. Let me know what's important. Please like, share, uh, spread the word about this kind of content because it matters and it can help people move forward and that's my mission. Brian G. Johnson and I'm out.